afternoon, my dear brothers and sisters in Christ. I'm going to post this time my comment to this video sent to me from the Radiant Rose Acad Academy. This is indeed one of my sacred journey here on earth through this meditation. I was able to identify my true identity as to why I am here on earth. So I made a comment to this video and may this be a testimony again because it manifests here on earth. It is almost my testimony again. So I will just read this. I thank you so much Radiant Rose Academy for sending this video meditation to me which really I would say raised me up into the highest vibration of light and love. This is a path of higher consciousness as you said. It's true. Again I manifest to it as the path of becoming your true self in apostrophe on earth also known as the path of resurrection and as I embrace this path a great racing and expanding activity unfolds within my mind that is true and my feelings and my consciousness as well truly I am awakened my life calls upon me now to rise and become on earth my true glorious self, as you said. I am in apostrophe individualized of Mother, Father, God. Yes, it is true. Here I experienced the second birth, as you said here. This is manifested through the white light that filled my room while meditating with closed eyes. The infinite I before me appeared immediately when I closed my eyes and it was glowing violet light, so beautiful indeed. And then I saw the face, also glowing violet flame. This is really the color of the divine flame of the Holy God. This was going on continuously as I was going on continuously my meditation. I was so fascinated and overjoyed because of this perception of his image. In the course of the video, there was the appearance of the great being Lord Melchizedek and the other faces of the Ascended Masters. The step forward one after the other, it was so clear to me in their faces, uh, were also to be seen. And in that part where Melchizedek asked me to step forward on the table where the book of life was, he asked me to lay my hand on it. And then he asked me this question as to my name. He asked me and my answer was, I am. The next question he asked me about my birthplace or birthright, my answer was also, I am. And 
to this, I manifest as the word stated in the Bible, in the first book of Corinthians. First book of Corinthians, chapter 15, verse 10, which says, For I am what I am. And His grace to me was not without effect. No, I work harder than all of them. Yet, the grace of God that was within me, it was this grace that made me to be what I am now, in the now. That is true. Again, I testify to it. This grace was not without effect. This is again manifested by what is happening in the world, the whole planet. Shortly before I made this video, there was again a short appearance there. Ten millions, about ten millions of people were awakening or something like that. It was so, so fast, uh, And then, this is already the manifestation of the effect of this <laughs> uh, phenomenon, bringing the love, the unconditional love of the Father, Mother, God to the world. We can see this effect now as manifested by millions of people all over the planet Earth. And this was also in the whole universe, as I am all supported based on the video sent to me in the now time. The spiritual awakening of our truth is really at its height. It can be felt, it can be seen. Again, this is manifested by a lot of videos being sent to me, to my channel. I have tried to hear its video and understand them and to make comments. But because of time constraint, I cannot make comment on every video. And at this point of view, may I ask an apology to the sender of the video. I take this opportunity. However, I thank you so much with all my love. Now, going back to this video, in the last part of this video, I broke into tears. And in the stillness, in the calmness of my concentration, I heard even the drop of my tears on my pillowcase. Imagine, this is the first time This is the first time I experience such a phenomenon to hear the drop of a, or to hear the sound of a tear dropping to the pillowcase. And this is an expression of the unconditional love of the Father Mother, Mother God I felt when we met at the middle part of the Golden Temple where Melchizedek accompanied me and we embraced each other so tightly. I felt it in the inner most of my heart. That's why it brought me into tears. So this will soon be a reality for us when he, Father God Yahweh ordered his son Yahushua to come for his bride. Oh, what an experience in dream, but it is almost a reality, I would say. 
and this infinite eye that I always see before my face wherever I go 24 hours a day I believe that is the source of all good and I acknowledge it as one power one intelligence one source within me and every other person so I'm grateful that is the eye that is within me the infinite eye in the midst of me that always protect me wherever I am. It is said that I shall shoot to no, to no man or woman for as the source of my infinite supply and health and dominion in every good thing in my life. So, and it was stated also, Melchizedek is one of the great beings that is in the book of Hebrews, chapter 8. He is the priest of the Most High that has no beginning and no end. That's why he's there. He was there in the temple. Oh, it was almost a reality indeed. So I will have, oh there is not much time left, so may this be a sort of testimony, my comment to this video, and I think I'm not permitted to share the whole video of this meditation, because uh, as the cover says, available to purchase at www akashaonline.com May I ask for permission if I can share this please uh, Rose Rated Academy tell me your approval otherwise I will just use the cover here sacred, sacred journey and meditation please give me permission if I can share it because it's so very very true this was posted, may I see? Then, oh, this was posted on the 25th of October 2012. And that is uh, RadiantTrustAcademy.com. It says, it's follow us in the Facebook also. And I still have two minutes. It is written here below when I opened it I would testify this is true may I just read this it is a path the resurrection path in which there begins to be experienced by you the second birth lightning flashes of sudden light within your mind great outpourings of love within your being all that prepares you in the center of your consciousness to enter into the sacred heart of our God nature and to pass through the door of everything where you will drink of the waters of life, the greatest love of all, the mother's love, the love of the heavenly mother that individualizes as your soul. When that love begins to express through you, it will reveal its presence and it will nurture and fulfill all that your mind dares to conceive. It is true indeed, your soul is the sacred womb of the Divine Mother of our universe. Just imagine, may I repeat this, your soul is the sacred womb of the Divine Mother of our universe, individualized, just as the Christ is the individualized mind of the Father. Yes, I will testify to it. That's true. So that is more about this video. It is very beautiful indeed. I testify that is really the most beautiful guided meditation that I have had. So, may the Lord bless and keep you. Bye. I love you all. I bless you.